Welcome to the GTI Special GTI Legends. Every ever built Golf GTI standing in a row, that's a really rare view, especially in these perfect museum condition. Here with the current 7th generation of the Golf GTI, the 35th anniversary Golf 6 GTI in this special red, and then of course the fire red. Golf 5 GTI, the same colour still continuing in the Fora and the Golf 3 GTI and then still having two headlights, the classical Golf 2 GTI and the most special Golf GTI is the Golf 1 GTI from 1976 and I thought let's find out what's changed within 40 years of GTI history and this is where I will take you for a walk around. The legend of the GTI was born with this car. The Germans say UrGTI, which means the legendary first GTI. 810 kilograms of empty weight and 110 PS from a 1.6 liter four cylinder made it a rocket back then. 1982 the displacement went up to 1.8 liters and 112 PS. The engine behind this grill with the classical red surrounding accent reached 100 kilometers per hour within 9.2 seconds. It went 182 km per hour top speed, the 1.8 litre 187. 462,000 of them left the VW plant. Only a small number is still in original condition. But these are a true investment. Rims and tyres weren't important at that time. It was more the performance aspect. The design? Really square design backlights and only one exhaust pipe. So only the three letters showed this is more dangerous than it looks like. The interior? Well, more pure and lightweight. No shiny surfaces like today, only plastic. The golf ball gear shifter and the oil temperature gauge are still famous. As well as the Scottish checked pattern seats. The boot space was lush, like today. But of course, compared to the needs in the late 70s and early 80s, it was a lot less than today. Rarely available original Golf 1 GTIs are really expensive today. Golf 2 GTI The second generation offered a variety of engines, five versions. Starting with 107 PS 1.8 litre and in 1986 the 16 volt version with 139 PS was a totally new driving experience. This 139 PS version with 16 volt is what you can see here. It didn't just look bigger, it was bigger, offering more interior space and even more power. Regarding more power, the Golf with the four headlights also came with a G60 charger reaching impressive 160 PS and all-wheel drive for perfect traction. The top speed was between 187 and 219 km per hour for the G60, and this in 1990. The impressive amount of 628,000 units left the VW plant. Rims and wheel design started to get more important. Now finally two exhaust pipes. Also the boot space got bigger with the second GTI. The interior as plain as the first generation GTI. Lots of plastic, but back then that was a popular standard. The seats now offered more lateral support, but also came along with other patterns. The checked pattern wasn't as classical as nowadays. Also, no golf ball gear shifter in this GTI. Golf 3 GTI The first time the GTI gains its power from a 2-litre 4-cylinder, 150 PS is as impressive as the 245 is today. And the Golf GTD, so a diesel version of the GTI that we know today, was already born in the early 90s. A 110 PS version from a 1.9 litre TDI. Top speed of the diesel, impressive 193 km per hour and 215 with the petrol GTI. The GTI started to get more modern with its design. Less edges, more round forms. Also, the headlights looked totally different now. What you can see here now is the Edition 20, what you can see at the dark backlights and these alloy rims. 
but only the half of the number of the second generation got sold. 327,000 compared to the 628,000. Though the backlights looked the same like with the second generation, they got less edgy and more round. But the two exhaust pipes weren't a tradition at that time. As compared to the second GTI, the third GTI generation only had one exhaust pipe again. Unambiguously, this was a GTI as you can see the writings in the seats. But again, not really the classical checked pattern. Now the seats gave even more lateral support for sporty driving. The white dashboard now looked also more modern and sporty. At least we can find the Golf Ball gear shifter again. But besides this, the interior hasn't changed that much. Still lots of black plastic. But finally, with an air condition. The boot space again matched itself to the actual needs of the early 90s. Golf 4 GTI Downsizing? What is that? Back in 1998, when the Golf 4 GTI came on the market, it went the other way. Upsizing. One of the options was a 2.3-litre V5 with 170 PS. And again, a 1.9-litre TDI diesel was available. Just like the Golf 3 GTI, the looks are more discreet. And now, optionally, Xenon lights were available. But it's more interesting what's under the bonnet. 180 PS from the standard 1.8 litre turbo, so this 25th anniversary edition with special rims and Recaro seats. The first time, the 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration went down to less than 8 seconds. The maximum speed was 225 km per hour and 193 with the diesel. Again, the backlights looked similar to the predecessors, but smaller. Even the fourth GTI only came along with a single exhaust pipe. The Recaros weren't checked patterned again. But for fortune, the Golf Ball gear shifter again found its way into the fourth generation of the GTI. The first time the interior looked a lot more valuable thanks to aluminium trims surrounding the center console. This would be the only five-cylinder in the history of GTI. 164,859 units left the VW plant. Golf 5 GTI The big jump. After the V5 the displacement went down indeed, but compared to the 1.8 litre it went up again. The 2-litre 4-cylinder now being called FSI cracked a 200 PS border for the first time in GTI history. Also new was the DSG dual-clutch automatic transmission, which made it possible to accelerate one second faster than the Golf 4 GTI did. 6.9 seconds. Top speed between 233 and 245 km per hour. And everyone who thought this wasn't fast enough could wait for the 30th anniversary edition, which had impressive 30 PS more. So this 230 PS version is what you can actually see here in the video. We could say that the 5th generation GTI was a bigger step than maybe from the 3rd to the 4th when talking about design. The first time the GTI typical rims were deployed, that we still know today, away from the previous design. And two exhaust pipes came into play and stayed till today. The interior also changed significantly. A more modern and valuable console design and a multifunctional steering wheel. What came to its benefit again was the classical checked pattern GTI seats that actually only got classical with the fifth generation where they celebrated their renaissance. Combined with the leather lateral support, the seats looked a lot more valuable than ever before. Even if the Golf Ball gear shifter didn't look exactly the same, it still survived. Also a premiere, the GTI had a navigation. Of course, it also suited the everyday needs with its boot space. Sold units 181,800. Golf 6 GTI With every new GTI generation, there were innovations. We saw the 5th had a nav. Now the 6th GTI has LED daylights included in the headlights. 
The only thing that really every GTI had and has is the red accent collar surroundings in the front grille. As you can see this has a 35 logo, means 235 PS compared to the basic model with 211 PS. Now the standard options included Climatronic air condition, winter package, park pilot, so park distance control, and the electronic differential XDS. 2012 the first GTI convertible was a revolutionary step. The 35 anniversary edition reached 247 km per hour top speed, the normal one 240. If you chose the DSG automatic transmission, the top speed was 2 km per hour less for each. The first time a GTI comes around with fully LED backlights. Again a big step to its predecessor. And also a premiere, the exhaust pipes that found now their place at the left and right. Here you can't miss it's the 35th edition. Beautiful leather Alcantara mix that you can see. Now even the automatic transmission has the golf ball gear shifter knob. Red stitches made the looks more sporty. Now the shiny surfaces started to gain more presence. Piano paint and aluminium. More leather and sportiness also for the steering wheel. 199,903 units found a happy owner and is one of the most successful GTIs. Golf 7 GTI One of the most modern hot hatches nowadays is the 7th generation GTI. Lane assist, supported steering, emergency city brake, full LED headlights with high beam assist and a lot more. The design is sharper than many of its predecessors. You can immediately see the difference between this and the standard 7th generation Golf. Again a 2.0-litre 4-cylinder with now 230 PS since the facelift and 245 with the performance version. The Club Sport GTI even reaches 290 PS as the 14th anniversary version. Dynamic indicators and absolutely fully LED backlights make it an eye-catcher. What we immediately see is the top actual technical setup in the interior, like optionally fully digital instruments and the 9.2-inch nav screen being the biggest in its class. What's really a nice detail is that the classical things from the first generation again found a place in the current GTI, the golf ball gear shifter and the checked pattern seats that build a fantastic symbiosis between modern and classical. 6.2 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour make it also the fastest ever built GTI. Top speed 250 km per hour. If you want to see the in-depth review about the Golf 7 GTI performance, click on top right. And if you'd like to know how the GTI performance performs against the Polo GTI in a hat-to-hat -hat race on the racetrack, accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour, click on top right now. Also, don't miss the GTI performance driving on the racetrack. You can find this and many more videos in my library.